When you were democratically elected as yeah. a mayor, what were your promises to your constituents and how have you uh, worked at keeping yes. those promises? Okay, uh, my, uh, on top of everything, I promise to conduct a good governance, uh, which to some extent, uh, so, some extent I did and I'm still doing it. Uh, secondly, I was trying, uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to improve the infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, because I certainly believe that infrastructure is the, is, is the top priority what Jakarta needs. Yeah. Uh, when I became a governor, a lot of, many people of Jakarta expect that we can get rid of the flooding, yeah. which to some extent I managed to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, a lot of people, of, uh, many people in Jakarta, they for, almost f forgot the, the, the flooding already. But, but the, the, the traffic jam is certainly the, one of the biggest issue now. Bigger issue now. So uh, this is a, a, an issue that we can only address on a long-term basis. For a lot of Indonesians, yeah. and especially today where Indonesia is very quietly becoming a very sustainable yeah. uh, economy where wealth is being generated mm -hmm. and so on, um, you know, some of the millions of Indonesians who actually come to make Jakarta their home every year, yeah. the inward migration is still very un unsustainable yeah. in that sense. Uh, and one of the things they say is, um, th there's an Indonesian saying, uh, Ibu Tiri, Ibu Kota <laughs> Lebe, uh, Lebe Kejam Kejam Ibu Tiri, Ibu Tiri yeah, yeah. or rather, yeah. uh, stepmother is yes. more, uh, sorry, uh, the, the, the capital city is more yeah. cruel yeah, than, cruel uh, than, a, than stepmother. a stepmother. Yes. Um, now, that is obviously related to the cost of living, uh, the quality of life in, yes. in Jakarta. Now, how do you how do you take the sting away from a sentence like that, a phrase like that? Uh, well, uh, well, actually, cost of living it it, it is not one hundred percent in the hand of my, my local government or my local administration. Anyway, but we're trying to keep the inflation low, so we manage for the last three consecutive years to manage the to uh, to maintain the inflation rate below, uh, I mean, one digit. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy also to report that, you know, our uh, regional economic development is progressing very well. Last year, uh, we uh, had an economic growth of 6.5%. The first quarter of this year, 2011, is 6.7%. So we're looking forward for having uh, completed this year by 6.8 or 6. Yes, but higher. economic growth is going to put the agenda in front of you. Um, you're going to have, like you had earlier this year, the water infrastructure, the, the water dam yes. bursting. You're going to have flooding coming back again. Yes, but be preparing for everything for a long, on a long-term basis. Yeah. Say uh, the in-migration, the rate of in-migration every year is, uh, is slowing down. Yeah. Though they're still, I mean, big in quantity, but they're slowing down. The last year, I mean, for the last three consecutive years, I think the, the, the incoming migration into the city of Jakarta has been maintained below 100,000. Last year it was 60,000 and we hope that we, we can reduce, further reduce the and, number. And what do you need to do to, uh, to slow down the rate of inward migration? One, I think we have to uh, uh, appreciate the effort of the central government to develop more growth poles uh, around the country. Yeah. But secondly, law enforcement is also important. That's what we did. So we, we're trying to convince people, if you want to live in the capital city, there are some certain requirements that you, have, you need to fulfill. Yeah, other than that, there will be law enforcement. Yeah, that's one point. And second point with regard to your question as far as the infrastructure is concerned. So we keep on expanding our infrastructure. Water work is very important. We, I'm now, I have uh, submitted the proposal to the center government again because we have to deal unlike Singapore we have to deal with my center government mm. yeah, uh, uh, to uh, build up a factory water water factory water purification factory uh, upstream and then pipe the water all the way to Jakarta yeah. well this will guarantee that the amount of water that the people of Jakarta needs uh, will be there in three four years time for four years time but it's all in on a public private partnership basis Right. And what if I were to ask you one last question, which is your funding mechanism going forward, which is also the first question I asked yeah. you. Um, 
Is there any plans or do you see in the foreseeable future that you will actually float um, the, the debt that you have created yeah. for building your infrastructure, okay. the, the railway? Yep. And is there a different mechanism that would make sense to you um, to, um, to fund some of the yeah. ambitious projects that you have mm -hmm. going forward? Yeah. We are going to be the first to issue municipal bond in Indonesia and that's going to happen next year. So we set for this year actually, but uh, I mean timing is not properly, uh, it's not proper now, so we, we, we postpone it until uh, uh, I think the first half of next year. But we're ready for that. The, I, was, uh, I invited Standard Poor to rate it. I mean, last year, uh, they given me BB+. Plus. It's better than my country's Country, uh, yeah. rating. But I'm happy to that. But most importantly is to prepare the administration for this, uh, 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 for the responsibility of, of a bond issue. Because we're looking forward uh, for having you know, this uh, uh, municipal bond issued each and every year again and again uh, in order to be able to catch up with the need uh, to improve our infrastructure. And if, you're, if, you, if you go that route, you'll be yeah. one of the first Asian cities um, or from the developing world to have uh, had uh, a municipal bond market. Hopefully. And, but then you'd also be walking in the same path as the U.S. cities. Yes. Uh, that got themselves burned because of the relationship with uh, investment banks. Yeah, uh, that is why the reason, I mean, for a prudent financial management. And what is a prudent financial well, management? Well, I had to restructure all my, my uh, financial uh, uh, mechanism, uh, my agency, and also uh, my asset. So, uh, in, that, in that respect, I think it took, took me a long time since I became a governor, I was trying bit by bit, step by step, to restructure everything. And what are the parameters that you give yourself? Because in a sense, you set your own parameters, don't you? Uh, yes and no, because uh, those parameters has to be also confirmed by my centre government. Yes, but yeah. you state the terms in which you want to build your finan financial infrastructure. More or less, yes. A and so what? what uh, conditions have you set for yourself that, that you think that your electorate would buy into? Uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to uh, improve the, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, financial capacity of, 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 of like a tax. Yeah, the, the tax ratio should be, should be improved. And then... Uh, the ability to pay. Yes. But then again, you know, it uh, uh, needs also the understanding of a people. You know, we need to educate also people at the same time. Yeah. Uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, we have an extended, uh, you know, uh, tax uh, mechanism in, in Indonesia, in, in, in Jakarta in particular. Uh, we also need to approach centre government to give more attention also for, for, for the capital city. Uh, uh, Without that, I think I don't think that we, the capital city, would be able to handle everything uh, itself. So, are you happy with the capital city's current ability to generate its own revenue, uh, or is there some could, work to could, be done? Could be better. Uh, it could be better. Some, uh, some uh, uh, improvement is, is is still needed. So, what is your discussion with the central government? I mean, what are some of the uh, key areas that you like greater control on? Well, I think. Yeah, if we cannot get uh, a share, or, uh, a better uh, tax sharing basis with the central government, why well, expect the central government would pay more attention? For example, in terms of uh, co-financing the infrastructure for transportation, for public transport in Jakarta, they did with the MRT. But you know, I was uh, the one uh, having 58 percent, and then the central government 42 percent. We should have. It could have been the other way around, actually. Right. Thank you very much, Fauzi, Mr. Fauzi Bauer. Thank you for very much for speaking to us and all the very best in the infrastructure that you're building. My pleasure. Thank you so much. And I hope that we'll be able to have this conversation Thanks. again. Thanks. Yeah. Right. Bye-bye.